Hello guys, welcome back to my another episode of Rand's Graphics Tutorial. This is Randy and today I'm gonna be showing you what we are gonna be making. Before we will start, make sure that this composition is a 16-bit, okay? If you want to change this you can change it here so for now i will just use this 16 bit click ok for composition create a new composition i want it 4k which is 3840 by 2160 change the name to logo placeholder sixty frames per second 10 second duration click ok go to your project panel highlight this logo image drop it down into the timeline press this on your keyboard for the scale change the value on your scale to 55 depending on the size of the logo you have okay mine i will just change it to 55 then go back to composition create a new composition i will name it text placeholder i will change the width to 1000 and the height i will change it to 200 60 frames per second and 10 seconds duration click ok zoom it in then grab the text tool and type creative design i will align it horizontally and vertically make sure that the character tracking is 150 the lid is auto and the font size is 100 i'm using the roboto font regular then go to composition create a new composition name it animation then change the width here to 4k which is 3840 by 2160 60 frames per second 10 seconds duration click ok now go to your project panel go to pre-rendered folder open it up highlight it all drag it to the composition icon make sure that it's multiple compositions click ok then i will create a new folder name it pre-rendered composition then i will put all these compositions on that folder then put it outside of the pre-rendered folder close it now all you have to do is to go to layer and create a new shape layer make sure that it's fill grab your shape tool then draw like this then make sure that this anchor point will be center on the shape so all i have to do is to just to click it on my move anchor point and align it horizontally and vertically then go to contents open rectangle one open rectangle path i will enable the proportion then change the value here to 820 then enable the proportion go to roundness change the value in the roundness to 430 to make it round open stroke one change the stroke here to 436 then enable the stopwatch move your playhead to one second and 49 frames 
change the stroke width here to 504 move your playhead to 307 change the value here to 436 then scroll down go to transform move back your playhead to the beginning of your timeline change the scale here to 4 hit the stopwatch to create a keyframe move your playhead to about 2 seconds and 8 frames change the value here to 300 press f9 to easy is it go to the graph value highlight this corner and drag it on this side So now I will press my keyboard control D to duplicate it. Then move back my playhead to 8 frames. Press my keyboard open bracket key to move that layer. Then open the shape layer 2. Open contents. Open rectangle 1. Open rectangle path 1. And change the value from 820 to 824. Then open stroke. Enable the stopwatch. Change the stroke width here to 447. Go to transform rectangle 1, open it up, then move your playhead to about 326. Then move this keyframe, just flush with the playhead. Scroll down and change the track mat here to alpha inverted mat. You can see. Then highlight it all, recompose it. I will name it circular burst. Move all the attributes into the new composition. Click OK. Then I will again right click my mouse and pre compose it. I will name it Large Circle Burst. Move all the attributes into the new composition. Click OK. I will highlight this circle burst. Press my keyboard Ctrl D to duplicate it. Move it down. Open this folder assets. Highlight this image and drop it down temporarily as color guide for your project. Highlight this large circle burst. Move your playhead to 2 seconds and 59 frames. Press open bracket key to move that layer. Highlight circle burst 2. Move your playhead to 5 seconds and 52 frames. Then press open bracket key to move that layer. Go to effects and preset. Go to generate fill. Change the color here to this color. You can see. Then I will go back to my project panel. Open it up. Open pre-rendered comps. Highlight these multiple square bursts. Drop it down into the timeline. Move back your player to 1 second and 32 frames. Then press open bracket key to move that layer. Then go to effects and preset. Generate fill. Pick the color picker and choose teal. There, okay. So now I will go back to my project panel. Then drop down this logo placeholder into the timeline. Move back by play to 2 seconds and 26 frames. Then press open bracket key to move that layer. Now go to the project panel and choose this circular burst. Press your keyboard control D to duplicate it. Right click your mouse to rename it. Rename it as square burst. Then open it up. Open the rectangle shape. Go to the rectangle path. The roundness change this to zero. Then the transform rotation change this to 45 degrees. Then go to the shape layer 1. Then open the rectangle path again, change the roundness to zero. Disable these keyframes. Then change the rotation here to 45 degrees. Then highlight the shape layer 2. Move your player to 1 second and 8 frames. Press open bracket key to move that layer. Then highlight both of them. Press U to see the keyframes. Then go back to animation. Drop down this square burst into the timeline. Rename it. Deal on it. Then go to effects and preset. 
go to fill pick the color picker and pick this color then move back by playhead to one second and one frame press open bracket key to move that layer i will highlight it press my keyboard ctrl d to duplicate it right click my mouse to rename it orange then move my playhead forward to one second and 20 frames press open bracket key to move that layer then go to the effects control change this color to orange there we go then go back to the project panel i will drop down these two arrow compositions into the timeline highlight this arrow one go to effects and preset go to fill pick this color picker and choose this color then i will highlight this arrow two go to effects and preset add fill pick color picker choose this color then open project panel again choose this multiple circle burst drop it down into the timeline move your playhead to 3 seconds and 30 frames press open bracket key to move that layer then go to effects and preset add fill pick color picker and choose this color open project panel go to the project panel and choose this multiple shapes 1 and 2 drop it down into the timeline move your playhead to 4 seconds go to edit and split the layer then delete these layers highlight the multiple shape 1 go to effects and preset fill pick this color picker and choose this color highlight the multiple shapes 2 go to effects and preset add fill pick color picker and choose this color so now we don't have to use these colors all you have to do is to go back to the project panel delete this color So we will try to play this animation and let's see there you go go to composition create a new composition i will name it main Rate 40 by 2160, 60 frames per second, 10 seconds duration, click OK. I will highlight this animation and drop it down into the timeline. Go to my text placeholder, drop it down into the timeline. And also this large circle burst, drop it down into the timeline. Then I will move forward my play to 5 seconds and 52 frames. Open bracket key to move that layer. Move my play forward to 7 seconds and 14 frames. Press my keyboard open bracket key to move that layer. I will highlight this animation and press my keyboard control D to duplicate it. I will highlight the bottom. Then go to effects and preset. Go to blur and sharpen. DC radial fast blur. Duplicate this CC radial blur by pressing Ctrl D. Change the zoom from standard to brightest. Go to X and preset. Go to generate fill. And I want this only black. Then go back to layer. Create a new solid. I'll name it PG or background. 3840 by 2160. Make it comp size. I like this color. So press OK. Then I let this text placeholder. Then go to effects and preset. Go to fill. Pick this color picker and choose this color. If you can see near that the shadow is too dark, all you have to do is to highlight this animation. Press your keyboard D for the opacity. Then change the opacity to 50%. Let's try to play it. Nice.
you guys we are done with our tutorial thank you very much for watching and i will see you on my next video okay my thoughts for today is that the first step of having a success is learning okay thank you and god bless